Welcome back to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. I wanted to bring you this little informational kind of how-to video today uh, about uh, hemostatic agents or blood clotting agents. And um, we're very familiar, most people are familiar with the commercially available, like Quick Clot or Sealox and things like that. Uh, can be pretty pricey, you know, depends on you know how much you're buying and things like that. Um, but there's natural remedies out there. Um, I highly suggest you guys research um, natural remedies for different ailments. And let me first say I'm not a medical professional. I'm not medically trained. I do have medical some medical training, um, but I am not a chemist. I'm not anything uh, that uh, should be giving out medical advice. What I'm giving you is my researched information, and I'm just kind of regurgitating that back to you. Um, and kind of uh, based on my research, I trust what I'm going to show you for myself. You need to research for yourself if you trust what I'm telling you. So with that said, um, I'm going to read a couple things here. And uh, this is some information I pulled off the internet, and this is kind of how I gathered all this information. And I've knew about this for quite a long time, and I just kind of, I mentioned it in a couple videos a little bit, but today I decided to do an actual video about it and kind of share some things with you. Um, this right here is directly from the Quick Clot website. It says, Kaolin, the active ingredients is the newest, in the newest generation of quick clot dressing is a naturally occurring inorganic mineral called kaolin, which has been known for more than half a century to clot blood. Okay? And it's directly off their website. So the active ingredients in their product is kaolin. K-A-O-L-I-N. All right, so this next thing I'm going to read to you is from a blog post that a blogger put up that um, Quick Clot actually uh, talked about. They actually went in and addressed the blog post and then they posted it again. And it says, currently Quick Clot products are now in their third generation and are composed of a rayon polyester gauze impregnated with the mineral called kaolin. Kaolin has been shown to accelerate the body's natural coagulation cascade and is naturally occurring inorganic material that does not contain any botanicals, biological material, or shellfish products and does not cause any exothermic, which means heat, uh, reaction, or vascular complications. Quick Cot is intuitive with a simple-to-use dressing format, conforms readily to the wound, and will not break down or fall apart under pressure. The hemostatic dressing may be left in place for up to 24 hours to remove, gently remove dressing and thoroughly irrigate wound. Please view our website here for more information. All right, so that's about uh, Quick Clot and what their active ingredients is, which is kaolin clay. All right, so there's another, in, there's another item that is naturally occurring uh, that, can, that has been known to, uh, to be a hemostatic agent and also has a bunch of other uses too, um, which is cayenne pepper. And this right here is some information that I pulled off a little bit about cayenne pepper. Uh, use cayenne pepper to stop injuries from bleeding. Cayenne pepper equalizes the blood pressure and allows cuts, even deep cuts, to clot quickly so you can keep all of your blood inside your body where it belongs. You can either sprinkle it on dry or mix it with some water to form an impromptu gauze. That came from the Lifehacker website. Um, also, cayenne pepper has antibacterial and antifungal properties. So... With that said, what I do is I buy kaolin clay powder in bulk, and of course I have cayenne pepper in bulk because I have it in my preps anyway. So you can buy kaolin clay powder on places like Amazon and eBay and so forth. And you can mix the two or you can use them as standalone products. So you can use the kaolin clay, uh, clay only or the cayenne pepper only. So what I do, me personally, is I do about a 70-30 or 60-40 mix with the higher content being kaolin clay. I want a little bit of cayenne pepper in my mix um, because I wanted that antibacterial property. Also, obviously, it's a hemostatic agent. It will actually it also stop blood flow. So what I do is I take these little bottles here and um, I label them. Obviously, this is labeled Quick Clot, which it is not. Um, but for reference, if I'm not near my bag, somebody knows that by name. I could easily change this to blood clotting agent, whatever the case um, you want to call it. Obviously, I'm not selling this commercially. Um, I'm just making up labels for my personal use. So you can either take something like this, which I've already impregnated some in, um, 
and just a, just a simple gauze and you can just sit here and uh, sprinkle it in just like that or i can take because i've nipped the edge where it's a little bigger so it passed the powder passes through it easier and then i can just uh, squirt this onto or into a wound now now i have a simple gauze that i can then press against the uh, wound and then start packing or wrapping the wound depends on what kind it is again i'm not going to give medical advice here that's something you need to research and there's a lot of good people on the internet uh, actually doctors that give good medical advice on first aid and how to treat trauma and wounds so i would suggest you if you can't afford to go have actual training uh face to face with someone i would suggest you do a lot of research and review and, and do some testing on yourself and then do some practical application with friends or family members uh after watching the video and here's the thing a lot of people will argue well you can't learn by video well let me tell you this <clears throat> there's a uh, major universities that are um, doing degrees now online okay and a matter of fact my wife's in the middle of one now getting her master's degree online from a very reputable uh well-known uh university so <laughs> for people that says you can't learn by watching videos i understand some of it's practical application but there's a lot of things you can learn by videos uh including medicine and first aid so i highly suggest you take your time and start watching some of those videos but anyway guys uh, again i'm not a doctor i'm not going to uh sit here and say this is what you need to do because i don't know the after effects and this has always been argued even with quick clot the argument was well does that cause blood clots in your system well possibly it could i guess and then you're at the risk of stroke and heart attack because of blood clots that get into your bloodstream well here's the thing if you actually truly have a bleeder, and keep in mind, this stuff is not designed, any blood clotting agent, in my opinion, is not designed for, you know, bumps and scrapes and cuts, minor cuts and things. This is, oh, wow, that's a lot of blood. You know, that type of emergency. This is this is a life or death situation when you want to use these products. And um, because, you know, again, just cleaning the wound out is it would be a pain if it was like an amputation. You know, you're at the beach, shark attack, and next thing you know, you're missing a leg and blood squirting everywhere, and you need to stop the bleeding. Obviously, there's other things we can use, tourniquets and stuff like that. But my point is, you don't want to put this on just some minor things. Um, but with that said, I wouldn't worry too much. I'll worry about the clotting potential later once i get to the hospital and they'll know uh that you've used this stuff in your wound uh or somebody can tell them that so they can then take the necessary precautions start you know maybe giving you blood thinners and stuff after they get you stabilized but bleeding out can happen very rapidly very quickly and you've got to stop the bleeding also keep in mind don't depend on just this depend on your knowledge to stop major bleeding obviously with tourniquets direct pressure things like that again do all that research because uh, don't think you can just take this stuff and start dumping it in a wound and it's going to stop bleeding all of a sudden when you've um you know torn an artery or you know severed an artery or something like that it's probably not going to happen so you're going to have to do some other measures besides just this well, guys appreciate you tuning in today again research this stuff and try finding out some other uh, options for you what i would suggest you know if you want to buy the commercially available stuff to put in your actual um first aid kits and then buy this in bulk just to kind of have um in a grid down oh crap situation where you can't get to the doctor or get to the um store to buy more of that commercially available stuff buy some of this because it's pretty cheap uh, and i'll put some links below uh this um one i got here okay this is a 16 ounce bag and that's pretty big and then i buy these bulk things at uh, sam's club of cayenne pepper so you can buy all this probably less than twenty dollars for both those items and uh, you can buy that obviously just kaolin powder i hadn't seen any at my local grocery store but i can buy it online very easily and i just checked and it's still available through ebay and some other places so but anyway guys uh, just buy some of this maybe put back even if you don't want to use it uh just in your normal day but if, if the crap hits the fan you need to put something back this may be a good option for you to do that but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you like our videos give us a thumbs up that's greatly appreciated it's down there in that little corner down there if you uh, would share our content once you give us the thumbs up another box will come up on this side where you can share it at google plus facebook pinterest places like that and if you would that would be greatly appreciated also it helps us grow the channel as always guys like share and subscribe and we bring another video shortly have a great day guys